Today, ribs on the master built 600 square inch pellet cooker. Let's get started. All right, just a quick look. Uh, your basic pellet cooker setup, 16 and a half pound hopper, uh, manual, not uh, digital temp control, and that's fine. It does have uh, the ash door right there, or the pellet change out door, I should say. Um, and to be honest with you, for 235 bucks, you know, you're not gonna get every bell and whistle. Let me get this closed up here a minute. And uh, for those of you looking around, those are not, not white sand beaches. This is Iowa. It is uh, the 16th. There you see my LBM. Uh, for the Daytona 500, we're doing up a couple racks of ribs on here. Um, oh, get your hand out of the way, dummy. So, uh, it'll probably be dark towards the end, just to let you know. We won't be eating till about 7 o'clock central when the daughter gets home from work. So, everybody have a great day. We'll bring you back and we'll get this cook started. Okay, to get this fired up, what we did is uh, turned on the main power switch down here. Turned our dial to smoke. Sorry about shaking, doing it one-handed. Um, they suggest to do it with the lid open. We're going to let this go about... Uh, five ten minutes let the white smoke clear off get her closed up and get the ribs on see you in a short okay ribs are on um, seasoned up hold the membrane blah 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 you guys know the routine you've seen it a thousand times on YouTube so no sense beating you over the head with it uh, this is a competition rib rub that I use so we're gonna give that one a try today and We'll be spritzing with apple juice, apple cider vinegar. Bring you back when it's time. All right, we got it set. It's a little hard to see, but it is set to 225. The sun is not helping me right now. So 226 is the actual set temp. Let's see if I can shade that. Maybe you can see it. There you can see it a little better. It's coming up temp, 179. And there's your there's your set town so we'll bring you back when it's time to spritz one hour in let's take a peek oh yeah looking nice we're gonna go ahead and spritz with our engine fryer see the steam hitting that deflector plate so there we go one hour in Ready to go, get her closed down. Temp's been bouncing right between 222 and 224. So pretty happy with that. Ribs are off, time to wrap. Let's uh, grab one here. Give me a shot of the color on that there. We'll get this laid down, meat side down. We're gonna add our honey. Just a nice drizzle on the back side there. We're gonna add just a touch more of our rub. brown sugar and three pats of butter we're gonna get this wrapped up the nice thing about this is um, everything's gonna liquefy make a real nice braising juice for these ribs to get nice and tender in do the second one off camera get them back on the pit 
bring it back when it's time to glaze. Let's see what we got here, gang. Get these opened up. Oh yeah. <laughs> got a nice little bone pole on these baby backs. Nothing huge. Um, we're actually starting to see a couple shiners come through. Let me get this flip over. Slippery little devil. Take a look at that color. All right, let's get this one set off. Now, what's left of our brazing liquid here, we're actually going to use a little of this. I have about a half cup of homemade barbecue sauce in here. I'm making a mess of my table, but that's all right. It's easily cleanable. We're going to add about a quarter cup of that brazing liquid in there. Get rid of this foil. Get this other rack out. To look, see, Tom Horseman term. Oh yeah, seeing some exposed bones there. Gonna be nice and tender. Oh yeah, they've been nice. So get these on our tray. Shove that to the side. Let's get this stirred up real well. And the nice thing is with this is the uh, the honey, the butter, the brown sugar in with that sauce thins it down. You get a nice light glaze, not a gloppy heavy glaze. And the other nice thing about using that brazen liquid is thins it down just enough so you're not going to see any bad brush strokes on here. Make it an absolute mess, but that's okay. Barbecue is supposed to be messy, especially when you eat it. All right, there we go. I'm going to get my hands wiped off. We're going to get these back out on the pit and set that glaze. All right, back on the pit we go. Gonna let these go about a half hour. Let this glaze tighten up. Get this lid closed down. We'll uh, get them inside, get them cut up, I'll show you what we got. See what kind of job we did here, gang. See if we can get in between them bones nice and pretty. Oh yeah. A few of these cut up. Still steaming hot. Let's take a look at that. Uh, it's washing out a little bit, but you can see that smoke ring on the top. Nice smoke ring on it. They're juicy. Let's give it a taste. absolute perfect bite nice tender um, I will put the recipe for the rub that I used at the end of the video and if I didn't mention it uh, the pellets I used were half uh, charcoal and half of the whiskey barrel so you know what this is good I'm gonna finish eating this get the rest of this sliced up for the family y'all have a great day We'll see you next time. Thanks, gang.